Now the details on a new ordinance, making it harder for ATV and dirt bike riders to get the one thing they need most to drive, and that's gas. Yeah, Atlantic City's five gas stations are no longer permitted to fill up the gas tanks of those vehicles. This is in response to the number of ATV and dirt bikes illegally swarming city streets. Action News reporter Bob Brooks has an update on these changes. Well, Shari and Gray, Atlantic City officials say this new ordinance is designed to do one thing, send a clear message to ATV and dirt bike riders. They are not welcome here. It was an exciting moment for the staff at the Gulf gas station in Atlantic City. The ordinance they've posted here means their attendants will no longer be pumping gas for those who ride in on ATVs and dirt bikes. No gas station in AC legally can now. As the ordinance was passed last night by the Atlantic City City Council, 7 to 2, forbidding it. The manager says it's a relief. It's more trouble, you know. They don't care his car, they don't care customer. Tonight, city officials say it's an attempt to prevent incidents like these dirt bikes and ATV riders going on the crowded boardwalk or anywhere in the city. Basically, the purpose of this is to kind of make these riders feel uncomfortable, to feel like they're not wanted here in Atlantic City because they aren't wanted here. Public information officer Andrew Kramer says if one of the five gas stations in town violates the new ordinance, they could be fined. However, there's one exception. If they feel in danger by the rider, by refusing to fill up, then they can fill up. But then it is now the gas station attendant's responsibility to let police know within one hour of that fill up. But he also adds the Atlantic City Police Department, ahead of last night's vote, got the blessing from each gas station to do this. Soon the police department will post official signs at each gas station alerting ATV or dirt bike riders who may come through. But we did speak with someone who disagrees with this. It brings a lot of us together, you know, it stops a lot of violence, you know, believe it or not. Giovanni Dubose says he rides dirt bikes and ATVs in Atlantic City. And in his words, it gives residents something to look forward to. It does take a bit away from our culture in Atlantic City. You know, we love to ride, whether it's daytime or nighttime, not really threatening anyone. We just, we're just riding through, you know, certain parts of Atlantic City. Okay, now there is one way you can fill up your ATV or dirt bike here in Atlantic City, and that is if they are fastened to a legally registered truck or tractor trailer. If not putting in Atlantic City, Bob Brooks for Action News at 10 on PHL 17.